Here on my channel, we have recently looked at some amazing print-on-demand stores like this one here that is doing millions of dollars in sales selling custom pet portraits like this or this print-on-demand store here, which is absolutely crushing it with tons of really cool all-over printed apparel items. If you scroll down to the bottom, they are even boasting that they have over 100,000 customers, which means they are likely crushing it with these items. I even showed you this print-on-demand store here, which is not as as fancy but is crushing it you can see that they have begun to make some of their first sales I believe when I made the video they had less than 300 reviews you can see they are growing their customer base and making more sales and if you're new to the channel and you missed all of that hey Joe it's folks here in today's video I want to show you another print-on-demand store that is absolutely crushing it what we're going to be reviewing is a trend that you could use yourself to make your first $1,000 in sales I even have a sample of the product you'll be selling so that way you can see the quality and I will show you the supplier where you can get it from and hopefully that sounds good if it does sit back relax and enjoy the video and also just so you know here on my channel I have reviewed tons of awesome print on demand products I'm actually in the process of sorting through some of my product samples right now but make sure to check out some of my other videos here on the channel to see some of them and if you want some step-by-step -step training from me make sure to check out my course there is a link down in the description inside there's over 30 steps by step video showing you how to build a print on demand store and the best part is it is completely free so check that out the link is down in the description so this here is the print on demand store that we are going to use as a reference today the name of the store is noblepawtrit.com you can see that they spelled the word portrait a funny way to sort of reference their niche and what they're doing here is they're taking photos of people's dogs and putting them on these Hawaiian shirts if we scroll through through. We can see they have some other products as well, but primarily it seems that the Hawaiian shirt product is their best seller. In the video today, we'll talk about how you could replicate that on your store, and I will show you a sample of a print-on-demand Hawaiian shirt and the supplier that you can get it from. And right here, I have for you the all-over printed Hawaiian shirt. In a moment, I will show you the supplier and break down the quality of this, but I first just want to say that this is a prime example of why I say not to sell t-shirts. If that is the first time you're hearing somebody say that, definitely make sure to check out some of my other videos. Not only are they super saturated and also pretty low in profit, but they don't allow you to create a design like this. With a t-shirt, your design would literally be just right here. With this product, because it's all over printed, your design covers the entire thing, including the inside and the outside of the collar, the entire sleeves, the entire front, and the back. And like I said in a moment we'll break down how you could sort of emulate this trend that we're looking at today to make your first $1,000 on your print-on-demand store I'll also show you the supplier of this and we'll come back and we will break down the quality of this item in a little bit more detail in a moment oh my goodness how fancy is this like I said this is an all-over printed design which means the printing goes all over the entire thing this Hawaiian shirt is a little bit big it's kind of baggy right here I probably would would have been better with a size down. The print on demand supplier sent me this to review for you guys. So everything here has been produced by them. And like I said, in a moment, I'll break down which supplier you can actually get this from and also how to actually sell something like what we just saw on that print on demand store. So again, this store is allowing people to take photos of their pets and put them on lots of different products. The way they describe how it works here is you need to upload your photo. They're then going to create the item for you and ship it to you. You can see on the product page here that there's a button that allows the customer to choose an image. If I was ordering this, what I would do is I would click that button there and I would upload my own photo that I want to be put on the product. And then they would get to work actually making it for me and I would get a really cool item with a picture that I uploaded to the site. And a lot of times when it comes to trying to understand how this works, people sometimes think that there is somebody at Printify, for example, or some other print-on-demand supplier that is doing this for them. Meaning someone is actually at the print-on-demand company cutting out photos of their customers' dogs and putting them on the products. And unfortunately, that's not how this works. Uploadery right here is an example of a app that you could actually install on your store which would allow you to give customers the ability to actually upload a file to you while placing an order. That app would allow you to basically copy this strategy 
strategy here where someone can actually upload the photo before they place the order and that way you're not having them email you after the fact with the photo or something like that and it's going to create a much more streamlined process. And I know what you're thinking, but Joe Robert, is the Hawaiian shirt even nice? Is it actually a quality item that we can sell on our stores? And I think here, if I get close, you'll be able to see that there is some really nice detail on here. So clearly, when it comes to printing, this supplier has nailed it. There is a very high chance that you would definitely be able to print photos on something like this and be able to get the level of detail that is needed. I can almost guarantee it, although I won't because, you know, I'm not able to do that. I can't guarantee something that another company is going to be able to do, but the print quality on this is exceptional. You can see every detail on these leaves. They did a tremendous job printing this. You'll notice that the design here is on like a white base. Keep in mind, that is just a part of the design file for this sample. If you wanted to do something completely different, similar to what some of the designs looked like on the store we're looking at today, you definitely could. In terms of the actual material here, when I show you the supplier, we'll break down the material that is used. They have it listed inside of their print on demand app, but this feels like a very typical Hawaiian shirt. I'm not sure if you've ever handled one of these, but they have like this like soft, kind of lightweight, breathable feel to them. I don't really know how to describe it, honestly, other than this feels exactly like you would expect it to. I and mean, I don't know how to convey that to you, but it is a quality item. It feels nice, it looks nice. The seams and the stitching is all, you know, very nicely done. And I could almost, again, guarantee, without actually guaranteeing it, that your customers are never going to complain about the quality of this product. And this right here is the supplier that you can get it from. It is called Subliminator. They have a print-on-demand app inside of the Shopify app store. You can easily install them onto your store and begin selling this product. Now, they describe this as a 100% polyester poplin, which again, is probably what I am trying to describe with the feel of this item, where it feels sort of like a dress shirt. It feels exactly like you would expect a Hawaiian shirt to feel. I think they did a tremendous job on this product. It's going to cost you $27, including the shipping. So there's definitely some decent room there to be profitable on this item. Again, if we go back and take a look here, they're selling this, the small version for $45.95. As you increase the sizes, they do charge more. I'm not really sure why, because Subliminator does not charge more for different sizes. Maybe they're just doing that as a way to have like a lower price show on the store when you first load it up. And then when you begin changing sizes or adding pets, you would see maybe an increase in the price and that's how they're really making you know a lot of profit on this item but overall like I said the short sleeve button-down shirt all over print from subliminator is a great item if you're looking to get into print on demand and you want to think of a unique idea for a store something like this could be really cool obviously the store that I showed you today is doing it with dogs theoretically you could do it with any animal now you could do it with people's faces as well and create something that is super unique so let me know what you guys think is this something Something that you would try why or why not let me know down in the comments below thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video